Hello and welcome back to another episode of this Black Toon Nuzlocke. In today's episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing a little bit more of Black Two. And in the last episode, which was quite a while ago, we caught a new Pokemon called Wizkid. And here he is, just in case I didn't do summary last time. He's lax nature, um, and he has Rapid Spin, Mud Slap, Fury Swipes, and Metal Claw. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the... Oh, I don't have Lucky Eggs in this game. No, I'm going to stick Wizkid into first. I'm also going to give him a potion, which I hope I have one of. But um, let's just quickly by type. Uh, and yeah, all we're really going to do is we're going to just kind of progress onwards. Um, not really because I particularly have to. Well, I do kind of have to. I really like this game. And it's a bit of a shame I haven't got to play it that much compared to how much I would have liked to. But oh well. So, oh, there is nothing over here. I believed there was a lot over there. So, uh, let's hope this is a gem. No, it's a wild Pokemon battle. So, we're in another wild Pokemon battle, and it is against another Drillbur. And this one is level 17. Hopefully, I have the upper hand against it, otherwise, I will switch out. But let us see. What is strong against. We'll use Mud Slap because Ground is strong against Steel. But apparently it's not still at this point, I don't believe. I don't know. Um, actually, we're going to run. Go away safely. So, I may have to stop the episode uh, abruptly in a minute. Not because I'm upset with you guys or anything. But just because... Oh, something's attacking me. Um, it's a rock and roller. I had a rock and roller when I first played black. Which was rather good. But, um... Not because you guys are annoying me or anything, but just because I am currently making dinner at the same time as recording this. So I need to go and check on the dinner at some point and do stuff. That did nothing. Uh, let's try Metal Claw. Let's see how much Metal Claw does. And we skip. Oh, that did a... Oh, Rock Blast. Uh, Rock Blast gets multiple chains, which isn't good. Um... But I'm rather happy at this point because I've lost no Pokemon in this Nuzlocke and I have a rather... I have, a, I have an okay team. Whoa! That did a lot. That did a hell of a lot compared to what I thought it was going to do. I'm going to switch out into... Uh, who should we go in? We'll go into Garrett. He's poisoned. But that isn't really too much of a worry to me. I'm just going to go and get this Pokeball over here. And then I'll probably stop the recording. Go and get the Pokeball. And then I will resume it once I've had dinner and stuff. I kind of want to get part of this episode done before dinner because otherwise I just won't get it done at all and that's a real real shame. So fight and then we're going to use water. Oh razor shell. I have not played this in probably oh, six weeks now. It's coming on six weeks which is a bit it's bad on my part. I'm, I'm, I apologize quite a lot although I did say in a different ah oh. well I want this pokeball in here I don't know if this is the right way to go or anything like that, but we have an escape rope, which is good. Uh, we're going to battle this trainer here as well. What I probably should do is heal up Wizkid and heal up Garrett, and then we'll go and do this trainer. Uh, this scientist duty. Uh, ooh, bag. So, if we whip out a... Uh, what do we want to whip out? We want to whip out... Ooh, I'm just trying to line up the screen. This one is not going to be very well lined up because I'm doing it in a different place today. So we're going to use a super potion on uh, Wizkid. And we're going to use a normal potion on Garrett. Garrett. And then we're also going to use a poison heal. Or an antidote. An antidote, there we go. On Garrett. So now we're going to go and battle this trainer down here and hopefully... It will all go well. So he's just doing a bit of revolving. Revolving. I will survey you too. Will you really survey me? Anyway. So. We're going to battle this guy. You ready for this? This is going to be awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that Grimer. Perfect for Wizkid. I really like Excadrill as a Pokemon, and so I quite want to... Oh, we use that special defense. Luckily, Mudslap is a defense-based move, and it still did barely anything. 
but his accuracy did fall. Let us use Fury Swipes and see how much that does in comparison. Probably a lot more. And yeah. Did, a, did an alright one. Uh oh. Minimize is not a good move. See, on the competitive community, in a place called Smogon, Smogon, however you want to pronounce it. Oh dear. So we just disabled Metal Claw. That's not good. Um, they ban any moves which are to do with accuracy and evasiveness, mainly because it's, un it is unfair. That is, I'd like to say, three lots of Fury Swipes in a row that I've missed. But my accuracy has now fallen even more, and this Fury Swipes hits. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, and he's dead. We just killed a Grimer. We just killed a Grimer. I have a Grimer. I can't remember what it's called. But, um, yes, we're going to head this way. Oh, dear. Another wild Pokemon. I don't know what it is. Don't really want to know what it is. It's another Rock and Roller. I'm bored of you, Rock and Roller. Let's just run away from Rock and Roller. I don't really want to. I don't really want to tangle with one right now. So we're going to go this way, and then we're going to talk to this duty. It's the weaving walking more walking. What, what, what? What Pokemon will we meet today? Anyway. So, what Pokemon will we meet? Let's see. Uh, and it's a Herdia. He has a Herdia. Which is alright. I suppose. We're going to use Metal Claw. And dip him in. And it did nothing. And here's Work Up. Work Up is the bane of my existence. The first gym was rather tough because of it. I was fearing the first gym quite a lot. And this game, compared to the original Black, has a huge... Oh, holy moly! That did a hell of a lot. Um, we're going to send in... Let's send in Bobble. And see what Bobble can do because Bobble's going to have slightly higher defense because she's second over. She, well, she's fully evolved, um, but she's about to uh, level up. Oh, he's got two. Oh, my giddy arm. Oh, dear. He's got two work ups. We may be about to lose Bobble. Um, we're gonna we're gonna use Pursuit, Pursue it, Pursue it, and um, we're gonna do him in. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. This one needs to kill him. If it doesn't kill him, we are done for. And it killed him, thank god. Anyway. So... Wizkid just grew to level 17. Which is good. I'm actually going to switch him out at first. Not... Uh, 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 he's not doing very well at the moment. We will put... Um, we'll put no shrimps. No shrimps for you in first. Yes, I will use another repel. What is down here? Is there nothing... Well, that's annoying. So now we're going to exit this uh, cave-like area. Random passage. We're going to get out the back passage. And we're going to go this way. Is it this way? Repels don't last very long at all. In this game. Which is a bit of a do it. And look, that shows you how long it's been since the last play. Because it's now autumn. And there is Iris. Iris, your friend. He seemed pretty mad. Did everything go okay in the sewers? What are you going to do now? You ran into Gym Leader Berg in the sewers, didn't you? Maybe you should go to Pokemon Gym and see how far you've come. I'm sure Rattling will help you come to understand you better as a trainer too. So, thank you very much, Iris, for your kind words of wisdom. We are going to go and do a bit of training. Uh, I will heal up now. I'll do a bit of training and then I will return to filming when I'm at the gym. And from the looks of things, this gym is cocoon based, so we've got some cocoony stuff to do. Um, so let's have a look. So this is the first trainer. And um, what do you think this Pokemon gym? How should I say? Isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms? I don't know. I haven't been here very much. Um, I guess if that's really what how you want to put it. Anyway, so. What I decided to... Oh, level 20. Oh my gosh. I did not train that much. I got them all up to level 22. Um, so, Thingy, Wizkid, learn 
home claws and dig so he now has both of those moves as well um, and everybody else has don't think anybody else has huge new moves uh oh oh dear I forgot that although this is a bug type gym Subordal is a grass type that is not good uh, I don't know how I forgot that because Luvani of course is grass and bug so I will use this looks like it might be Quentin's gym to shine in to be honest with the flame with the flame and the flumen we're gonna flame them all up flame on anyway so compared to my heart golden slot which at the moment I'm about to do the uh, about to record the seventh gym um, I would say that this Nuzlocke is a lot better in terms of my team and who I've got. There's a lot better variety of types and the good thing about Quentin is that sometimes it's very hard to find fire types very early on in the game. I'm going to switch him into first and I really shouldn't in case I run into any... Ooh, um, what they called? So what? Not so waddles. Uh, dwebbles. That's it. Hello. What's this? What? There's, there's a trainer in there. Oh, that's annoying. Well, uh, we're gonna keep going up, and we're gonna go up and up and up and up and up. Harlequin Jack, and he has a combi. Oh, can you catch combis in this game this early? So we're gonna flame this combi as well. And then we're gonna see what happens. Woohoo! We killed a combi in one hit. Big whoop. And we got a Swadloom, which is of course four times weak to fire. Which is quite ridiculous. So we're gonna use fire spin on this swad oh. Damn the Swadloom, use protect. Great. And we're gonna do it again, we're gonna do it again. And he's gonna die from a fire spin. Which is always fantastic. And we have killed another one. So it looks like Quentin is really going to get some huge amounts of points in this gym. Let's go in here. Oh, damn, we went down. Is this the right way? I'm guessing yes. I wondered how we're supposed to get to this one, because as we went up to the second floor where I saw this, I was like, well, how'd you get down there? But, um, that's pretty good. He's got a swaddle as well. I wonder if he's got three swaddles. Swaddle! Swaddle! I quite like Swaddle. If you watch the uh, Pokemon anime, Swaddle makes this a uh, very cute sound with a Swaddle! And it's quite funny. But, yes, and he does have a Dwebble. Now, Dwebble is what I was banking on in terms of uh, Wizkid. But I will use Garrett. And Garrett will. Garrett will certainly razor shell him up. Oh yes, uh, as I, on my travels, I came across dun 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 dun, big surprise, a guy who gave me an amulet coin, which is very nice. So I now have an amulet coin, and there are many, many, many things I could do with this, including earning more money. So we're going to do that at some point. It's probably when we go and battle Berg. I think Wizkid's got it at the moment. I believe Wizkid has it. Uh, for no particular reason. So, bit of a bit of a brain fart moment. After I did uh, I did, all, did all my stuff, did all my training with Ordinos back in Verbank, I came back here and noticed that there's a trainer building. Which I could have gone and all the stuff for, because I'm not going to do that on screen, I've decided. So, um. I probably should have done that. Oh, did this ever end? Um. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. Next one. I wonder if I've probably gone the longest way round, or whether this is the only way round. I'm oh, just. just overthinking it now. Do 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 Anyway, Anders. Anders in German means. Anybody know? Anybody know? Anybody know? Different. Which is quite cool. Anyway, we're, I'm going to switch. I don't really need to, but I'm going to switch into Garrett just because I'm a bit worried. 
about Quentin getting hit by a rock type move and dying this early on in the game because Quentin could be very useful for a number of gyms um, I think there's a nice type gym in this game or was that just black I can't remember actually will Quentin be useful in any more gyms no he won't actually I don't think so oh well now he's used three sound attacks which is just cheating as I mentioned earlier about my smuggling rules Oh, so he uses three sand attacks and a faint attack. Great. And then we're going to use that. Raise the shell fun. What? I'm guessing it's got sturdy. If it doesn't have sturdy, I'm going to be so peeved because if it lived with one HP without sturdy, switching Quentin. Do a bit of Quentin up. And then we're going to des destroy him. Woohoo! And then we've done spot loot. This might be the last trainer before um before Berg, which would be nice if it was, because that would make this episode the perfect length, around about 20 minutes. Maybe just under. Please be the last trainer. What? What? What the What the actual hell did that just bring me down? Oh there's a second hole. I thought there was only one hole. Oh look at this. Oh this is a cool room. So we're gonna heal up um I'm gonna heal up everyone. We're gonna use a couple of potions and heal up Quentin first and then we're going to do Garrett we use two potions on Garrett and then we're going to take a super potion and use the super potion on Whiskid so I'm just debating about uh, do, 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 do. tell you what we will take the amulet coin off Whiskid. Item. Nope. Item. Move. Oh! That's new. I didn't know you could do that. And then we will switch Garrett into first. And hope that his first Pokemon is a Dwebble. Because if it is, that will make everything a whole lot easier. Good work back there in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon is scurrying with something about getting to battle you. I'd say my bug type Pokemon were pretty great. Come on, let's brag a little. Doubles around that Liza Cute's resilient. The ice is Levani. It's how cool the sweet clothes. Let's write. So he's got definitely got Dwebble. And he's definitely got a Levani. So here we go. Third gym battle. Do 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 Oh, Kakuni. That is fantastic. He has a Swadloon. So Swadloon is his first Pokemon. Which is not what I was aiming for. I was hoping for Dwebble first, but that's fine. We will switch in Quentin, who's becoming quite the boss, and we will definitely get some money after this now because we use the amulet coin for one thing. So we're going to go flame burst and blow him up. Boof! Look at that. Woohoo! And then we're going to do some more stuff. And we're about to send in Dwebble. So now we need Gar Garrett. So I think Quentin and Garrett are going to be my two leads in this game, probably. I mean, Zion and Bobble are all very good, but I see them dying at some point, which isn't good at all. And we're going to use Razor Shell, and it's going to go, ooh. That didn't do as much as I would have liked. He's going to use Smackdown, and it goes, ouch, ouch. Listen to me, tell me what the bug type Pokemon are made of. And then we use it again, and we win. So, and now he finishes off with the Levani, which of course I will use Quentin too because of the full time strength. And sending Quentin. Quentin! And Quentin's going to destroy him! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. One thing I do like. Do, 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 do. One thing I do like about these games is the battle music changes. 
And Quentin's level 25. Which is cool. Oh, he got quite a lot of points. Incredible. It's over. 5760 oh, yen, dollars, pounds. Oh, yahoo, you are very strong indeed. I suppose I lost here to the insect badge. So we have the insect badge. Which is really cool. And that is now added to my basic badge and my toxic badge. I got the insect badge. It suits you better than I thought it would. Pokemon to level 40 will obey you, including. For this. And he gave a struggle bug, which he didn't actually use. But, um. So, we're gonna head down this hole. Holy woly. And it's gonna go. Woo! Pop us out the bottom. I like this gym. It's pretty cool. And we're gonna just quickly talk to Clyde. Clyde, what have we got? And there we go. We have finished Castilia City. So there is one more thing I just wanted to. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong thing. One little thing I just wanted to do very quickly while uh, we're sticking on screen. There was a guy who said he was going to give me something for 40 Pokemon um, up in one of the buildings up here. So, oh, oh, it's you again. It was not a convenience. May I look at your Pokemon? Yes, I appreciate your cooperation. Oh, how interesting. Your D-Watt seems to play more self-confidence than they're the same species. You're training with merely three badges. Fantastic. I'm not sure how you don't, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokemon. Excuse me, I'm a scientist. My name is Colrus. The theme of the research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon. It's possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with the trainers? Or is it some other, different method? That's just my theory by battling with you. Do you find this except... I guess I can find it. I'll be waiting on Route 4. So he's going to be on Route 4. So we have plenty of time to prepare and train up which will be what the next episode will be um, although we do have to quickly go in here and talk to this guy who will give me if I had 40 Pokemon is it here? is it this dude? 43 there we go so he gives us an Eviolite which boosts the special defense and defense of a Pokemon who can still evolve so we will give that to a Pokemon right now actually um, uh, it's at the bottom. So give. Let's see. Who should we give it to? Um, let us give it to No Shrimps. Just because he probably has probably the best defense stats. 36 and 40. Oh, actually, no, he doesn't at all. 37, 36. 28, 36. 29, 32. Oh, so actually the best one to give it to is Garrett. So yeah, so now no shrimps has nothing. And Garrett has the Eevee light. So that is the episode done, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This one's been pretty long, probably about 22 minutes, 23 minutes, something like that. So I will see you soon when we go and battle Colrus.